What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. Anyway, balancing the elements. When it comes to all layers of life, you balance the elements, the four elements. Earth, wind, water, fire, air. You, you balance these elements. And um, plenty of people have dreams of drowning or being burnt or flying. It's all different elements in how you balance them. If you're balancing them at the densest level, you can graduate to the next layer to balance that level, to the next level, to the next level. So the quickest way to balance the body to let it regulate itself is to fast, of course. That's the quickest way to get back to balance. And um, once you've mastered each layer, you will, you will fly in all layers. Literally, metaphorically, however you want to look at it, but you will be in control of, of your path. You will create it before you even take the step down onto it. So it just comes down to balancing the elements. More earth requires more water, fire and air. It's just like you look at the, what they call the chakra system. Root, root chakra being earth, which will dissolve into water, the next chakra up. Then we get into the solar plexus, and, and water evaporates into the fire and, and is cleansed and burned out. Then we go from the fire to gas or air. And then from gas or air, we go to ether or space or dark matter, whatever, what have you, which is more so a product of, of consciousness. And from there, we go inward into infinite consciousness and... Uh, pretty much limitless potential and will. So once we balance the elements, the energy will flow from top to bottom. Again, every energy center is needed. Earth is what roots us here. And you don't have to stay here if you don't want to, but you're gonna have to earn your pass to leave, like I said in a couple of videos ago. And when it comes to balance, that's it's going to manifest itself in all ways. It manifests itself in all ways, like imbalance and fire. You might have too much aggression in your life, and it will show itself in your dreams and the other in other forms too. Not just literal fire. It might be a person that you know who was a who was a mean person to you or aggressive with you, and that person is in your dream for some reason. You have, might not have seen them in a decade or decades. It doesn't matter. Time is really not the issue here, but there. That facet of their persona or emotion, that fire that they were releasing, or if they're too watery, too introverted, you see a person that's dejected in your dream. They are really reflections of pieces of you, what's inside of you. And if a person's running rampant in your dream that has embodied that fire or whatever, that's just a part of you that's running rampant inside of you. So if we balance the elements, we can graduate to the next layer, balance the elements there, and we can truly fly. So it all comes down to balancing the elements out. And the quickest way to do that at this dense level is to fast. And people ask me about fasting or dry fasting. Or, and it's, it's really simple. If during your sleep state, your body is regulating its pH and, and balancing as much as it possibly can from what you put inside of it. And uh, some people would say drink a lot of moisture before, you know, drink water before you uh, you sleep or just an hour before you sleep or so so that that water can counter the earth element to where you don't wake up thirsty the next day so that you can properly, you have the will to dry fast. If you take on a bunch of earth element and go to sleep and then wake up expecting a dry fast, it's going to be unpleasant because then you're going to have to pull more moisture from the air to counter that earth. And that's that process. If you're going into it ignorant, it's not going to be a pleasant one. So, really, fasting is the key to getting to that, that balance. It's the quickest way, at least. Because people have emotional issues and then they stuff those problems with physical 
foods that carry their own balance or elemental uh, makeup. So, you know, you might be taking on too much fiery foods or too much too much earth, too many root foods, uh, potatoes or things like that, whatever. You know, that's root, root chakra. That keeps you more grounded. So, you know, somebody might be too watery, taking on too many fluids, or creating too many fluids from eating things that might produce lymph, things of that nature. So, it's all about balance. And we graduate from level to level. And uh, I think that's a pretty solid video. You tell me.